Es steht äh, singulär da. Es gibt kein ähnliches oder zweites Stück, das äh, so ist. Ja gut, es ist natürlich schon so, dass ich sehr viele intensive Erinnerungen habe an Sappenzellerland und vor allem an meinen sehr verrückten und extremen Großvater, der auch noch ein Bauer war und einfach alles tat, was man heute nicht tun würde und auch überlebt hat. So ist es natürlich schon die Erinnerung an diese Zeit und an dieses launige, Schöne, ja, aber Laune gleich bitter säuerliche Appenzell. Ähm, so ist das alles ein bisschen halt in diesem Stück mit drin. Ja. <lacht> Marco is um, a choreographer that really brings the movement to reality somehow. Of course, with a very strong classical bass, what the dancer needs to, to move on stage. But uh, all the movements, they really belong to reality somehow. They are very concrete movements. <laughs> It's um, a kind of the extreme minimalismus you know, that you have on stage and as you say it's a painting, you know, it's a poetry also that comes out from the very strong formations of the dancers on stage, very precise because it, it has to work with lighting and everything. You know? <laughs> There are politicians and wealthy men and just men who think they know better negotiating to go to war, which we all know what the results are. And this is very tragic and people don't learn from all the horrors of war and all the victims and, and all the lives it ruins. Curtios was a, quite a genius in the way he portrays drama through movement and focus and also has a musicality and phrasing that captures uh, the atmosphere of the scene. The death, he is um, like a war machine. This is a very complex role, and he has this constant pounding and commanding and taking people, but in different ways, aggressive form or more compassionate, like with the mother. First he dances nicely with her, but then it's time to come to him and he takes her passionately. And uh, with a young girl, he's very aggressive with her in the brothel. But at the end, he takes her like he's a father figure. He takes her like she's his child, and he rocks her to her death very gently. <laughs> 